everyone in the previous videos we learned to you know set up the chrome driver open a web browser and in the previous video we learned to control different elements of a web browser and we also had a look on some of the syntax like this right where we are using x path and inside that uh, inside that we were using this kind of a string then again x path and then this kind of a strings now the question comes in how do we get this particular string how how do we come up with this particular string right and what x path exactly is how is it created right so here in this video we're gonna understand all these things but before that guys if you are liking this video if you are enjoying the video do not forget to give the thumbs up subscribe and comment that is absolutely free all right so let me take you to the amazon website over here all right so before that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to close this and using whatever i have just created over here i'll create a new syntax a uh, new script over here i'll just put it right over here and i'm just going to run this and let it open itself the amazon page so let's see how it looks like okay so now here we have the amazon page open so because we have to understand we have to understand the x path so here what we will do is we will understand the fundamental of x path because see we don't have to do the programming we have to do the web scrapping where all that matters is selecting the element on a web page whatever elements we have on web page we need to select that okay that's how that's what matters more and for that if you understand the fundamental that that's gonna be uh, more than enough and as we progress in the video we will keep on covering the advancement of this thing right so here we will understand x path for selenium to scrap to do the web scrapping okay so over here you saw this kind of element we have given all right so here i have this thing created right and driver is also created now that i want to so uh, access the search box here we have the search box and i want to access this particular thing then what is the way there are two ways first click into this go to the inspect button and once you are over here right so what you can do is you can simply hover over here uh, right so again let me come over here and do the right click now i am over here and when you hover over this this is completely showing you this particular part right so what you can do is first way is to right click on this and go on copy and get the x path so this is the x path you got now to validate that whether this is uh, selecting this particular element or not just click on this and do Control f if you are working on Windows, okay and the moment you do this you get this particular box right this is find box and in that you just put it so when you just put uh, the item whatever you copied it is selecting this particular thing right so that means it is working absolutely fine and when you use this in your syntax it will fetch this particular item and if you see when you put this over here it is saying one of one that means on this particular page you have only one this type of item this type of item available right so what you can do is you can simply take this and you can come over here right and in the driver what you can do you can do this and you can say find find element element and inside that what you can say by x bar and then in the quotation you can put this thing right so when you run this it will it will navigate you in this search box okay now i said there are two ways so the other way is what you can do is you start with you you can make your own x path so you just type this double slash slash and put the html tag which is in this part if you see this is the html tag okay input all right it is not case sensitive but i'm just writing it and then you put the square bracket start and end the square bracket and inside this square bracket what you need to do is you need to use its attribute 
like in the previous video of web scrapping i have covered that each of the um, each of the tags would have its attribute right not necessarily but if you have the attribute it will be inside the tag okay so now because here we just use the html tag which is input in uh, and we want to search for an attribute this so what was the attribute so you can again come over here and you see the uh, just right over here we will use this id attribute okay we can use this id attribute so just i'm just going to copy this value and i'll come back over here with at the rate what i will do is i'll put the attribute name whatever i want to select so this is id equals to sign and in the string what you can do is you can put this particular part right so now you see this is selected and you can copy the same item and you can come over here and you can put right over here all right so we have this just right over here so now you see over here this is in the different color so to be on safer side we're gonna make it in double quotes right so now you have this item available over here and when you do the uh, when you run this particular syntax you will be um, navigated to this particular search box now you might think why do we need to do or why do we need to put all this effort when we can simply click on this and go to inspect and over here what we can do is we can just come over here copy and select x path and come over here and just test that if it is selecting the particular part or not that is it right we can just do this right so why do we need to spend time understanding how to write this x path you are right so you are absolutely right now let me give you an another example let's search for some item item over here let's say hp or let's say dell laptops dell laptops okay i just searched for this particular item now when you do this search and consider that i want to fetch i want to fetch all these laptop names right how can we do that let's follow the same thing right just right click on this go to the inspect okay let so he, here we are first let me clear this thing let me just clear this thing okay again i'll repeat the same part and come over here inspect and it is taking me to this part and it is selecting this particular thing right so you will do the same thing if you select this copy and come over here and do the x path so for now we will not write this index we will understand using this search box itself right so let me just select this again and do Control f and in this let me put this so this is the x path which we got by right clicking so but if you do this here it is saying one of one so it is using this x path it is able to find one item only while on this page we have somewhere 23 laptops available okay somewhere 23 laptops we have available on this particular page but it is finding just one one of one so what is the solution for that only for that reason only i said that write your own x path right so now in this context let's try to understand how can we get all this right so for that what we're gonna do is just remove this and over here like i said start with double slash so double slash what it's gonna do is it will directly take you to the current node this is x path node so it will directly take you over here it will remove it will skip all the nodes which are previous to this so span previous to this you have a tag then previous to that you have h2 d so it will skip all those things and it will directly come to this span part span and then what i said is start this bracket square bracket and in this square bracket what we're gonna do is we're gonna put at the rate why do we want to put at the rate because we want to use attribute over here so the attribute which we're gonna use let's see what attribute we can use over here so i'll just come over here again i can right click on this you can do this on any of the item which we have sourced and just come over here right and here we have this class attribute so if you manage to find the class attribute with this particular value then let's see what happens so in this what we can say is class equals to again sorry 
I'm taking you, I'm doing this thing again and again, right? And because I have to copy that particular value as well, right? So I come over here, double click on this, okay? And then control C from keyboard, come over here in this, in this square bracket, put the string. Let's say I put this, uh, sorry, quotation and into that, I just put this string, okay? Now, when you did this, you see what it is saying, one of 23 means it is able to find all the 23 related items on this particular page so this is why we need to understand how to write the x part right so this is what we can just take it from here and we can come back over here and just put right over here all right so let me just see over here and over here okay so i'll make this single string when we are searching the string i'll just put it in the single quote right okay so we are done with this right so when you run this it will fetch all the 23 items okay don't go by the formula just focus on this part only so using this it will cover all these parts all the elements all the similar elements with this attribute available on this particular page it will cover all those things so now it is time to understand the syntax the syntax is simply you start with double slash put the html tag and start the square bracket and into that you're gonna put add the rate and then put the attribute here in our example we used class attribute after that you put equals to sign and then a string Put the string which you want to look for and then close the bracket that is it so this is one method the other method is here it will search for exact same string which you have supplied now what if you want to look for similar strings right so for that you're going to use contains function right so for that what we do is double slash then html tag start the square bracket same as we did at the top then put use the contains function here we are using the contains function and then start the square bracket because it is function so it would have square bracket right and in that what we're gonna do is again we will repeat the same thing add the rate and then the attribute name after attribute here we used equals to sign here what we will do is we will use comma and after that we will use put the string which we want to search and at the end we're gonna close this thing so this is the sent these are the two syntax which you can keep in mind to search for the things right so both of these two things will uh, can be used to search for the elements and do the web scrapping so this will be helpful for you now if you come over here and if you try to use this kind of syntax so that will also search for the same number of items because we are using the exact string right and uh, just in case if there are other items which are containing this string as a part of their main string then you might get some other elements also selected okay so if you want i can just show it to you so what you're gonna do is inside that you're gonna say contains and start this in that you can say class and comma and then in the string you're gonna put that part oops sorry uh, let me just come down over here a little and right click on this and this and just double click this come over here and within the string just put it so this also searched for all the 23 items so you just saw there are two techniques to search for this now other than this there are many other methods and many other things to understand about the um, this x path which we will understand as we progress in the videos and in this series but if you are super interested in learning that i highly recommend you to go through this particular website i will provide the link into the description section which is w3school.com i really like this because this this provides you very concise uh, information what you exactly need to understand and uh, it's really helpful i'll be putting this uh, particular link into the description section trust me this is not a sponsored video i really like this particular page so that's why i'm saying this so i just hope that you liked it whatever i explained if yes just give a thumbs up write the comment and share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe that that's that will be a support or contribution from your side to the channel thank you once again wish you very